there were all sorts of things that Tottenham didn't sign anyone. Uh, but they played uh, Alda Virail the other day, who has not played for a long time for Tottenham, so maybe he's almost like a, a new signing for them. Um, he's Moura, who has not been hadn't been playing, has also played in the first two games. Uh, there was a lot of speculation that he would be leaving. So he seems to be in particularly good form, um, and it's going to be a difficult game. You like to think that because. Historically, Tottenham don't do and don't get great results at Old Trafford, and that would be uh, uh, the, something to be saying. Well, no, they don't, but uh, they have some good. They have got a lot of good players, and they've got a good manager, and he is um, very thorough in his preparation for the game. So I think it'll be a lot down to. I think be a lot of things that think work out what uh, Pochettino will be considering, what he would imagine that United's team is going to be. And I think Mourinho will have to be spending a lot of, lot of time looking at what Pochettino's team is going to be because if you look at the opening two games that Spurs played, um, well, first of all they changed the system completely in the second game at home, uh, and they've got a number of players that could come in to their team or back out of the team. What interests me, we're looking at the uh, the game, the home game. Where he's got three at the back and Dyer is a sitting midfield player. And he's got Ben Davis, who's a left back, really playing centre midfield, uh, who, you know, would be in a defensive position normally, he still likes to be uh, he likes to get forward in an attack. So it looked to me though that they had one the goalkeeper, four defenders and six attackers, which would be uh, I think would be a concern for any team.